Dr. Nicotel here. Hey, I wanted to give you a little tip. If you're going to a chiropractor or if you've ever had problems with low back pain, it's extremely important that the chiropractor checks your entire spine. Like in our clinic, we check the entire spine because the spine works as one unit. And we do a three-dimensional coordinate system called the Cartesian coordinate system, a biophysics technique to address all three distortion patterns that a person would have. Not all chiropractors do that. But one of the important things I want to address here and get you to know is that if you have a problem up here in your neck, because a lot of times patients come in and I say, well, you know, your problem is in your neck. And they go, no, 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 my problem is in my low back. And I tell them, I says, no, your symptom is in your low back, but your problem is in your neck. And if we don't address the whole spine, what happens is, and this is why a lot of times medicine isn't real successful with treating uh, back problems because they're not looking at the entire spine and how one section influences the other. So I put up an x-ray here to show you how all these little uh, yellow dots are supposed to be on the line. Like in this particular patient, in the center, everything looks great. But she came in with really, really bad low back pain and sciatica. And so her pelvis is shifted offline. But look at her neck. Her neck is like 17.6 millimeters shifted to the right. That's called a translation. If your head is shifted over to the right, it's going to cause the low back to compensate and shift. So one of the things I told her is I, I uh, have her, a broom and uh, to illustrate exactly uh, what's going on with her spine, I told her, I said, well, if you hold a broom uh, by the bottom handle, I says, and you have the bristles way at the top and you shift that, what do you think is going to happen? So I want to illustrate that to you to get you uh, the point that if your neck is out of alignment, it can affect your lower back. So I gave her a real simple illustration about a broom. And I said, look, if you were going to take a broom, now I didn't show her the broom at the time, but if you were going to take a broom and you were going to hold this broom up at the very bottom, okay, and all of a sudden you held it straight, everything would feel, I mean, it'd be easy to hold it at the bottom here, right? But all of a sudden, if we started tipping the broom, how much harder would your hands have to squeeze down here in order to hold that broom up? Well, the same thing happens with your spine. If your neck is out of alignment and it's shifted uh, over to one side, your low back when you're standing has to squeeze and hold because you're always wanting to be centered with gravity. So again, if you're having any type of issues with your low back, and if you want to come in and check at our clinic, we'd love to have you, but we do a full uh, spine uh, correction and uh, we check you from head to toe. We check your feet because if your feet are out of alignment, that can affect your lower back as well. But you want to make sure if you're going to another chiropractor that number one, they're checking you that way and they're taking x-rays of your spine to identify those problems. Otherwise, you can get adjustments till the cows come home and your low back problem will never go away.